Well, tonight's Get In The Zone sponsor is Matt's Heating and Cooling. Is your home in the energy efficient zone? Call Matt's Heating and Cooling or go to callmattsheating.com to schedule your free estimate. Matt's Heating and Cooling, get your home in the zone. Aaron Matthews joins me on set, fresh from the Liberty Benton Lipsa game. And, you know, a lot of sports action, a lot of football action to talk about tonight. Start with your game at Liberty Benton. Yeah, and it was all LB tonight. Uh, Patrick had a huge win uh, for the Eagles, a, a team in in Lipsick, I'm not, you know, not knocking them in any way, shape, or form. They're, they're a down team. They know, and Coach uh, Kirkendall even said this in the preview in the Finley Courier, this year is more of a rebuilding year for this program. But he feels very strongly about even the next eight years and what could be coming uh, with this uh, Lipsick program. They, you know, they got shut down. And the thing is, for, for Liberty Benton, that really helped them out tonight, I thought, of the 11 drives they had, six of them in positive territory. They had one stretch where they had one drive, one play, score. Next drive, two plays, score. Next drive, three plays, score. So six plays, three touchdowns. That's mammoth. And, you know, it's a huge win for LB, and it sets them up next week for a monster matchup with LCC um, here in Lima next Saturday night, a game that we're going to have on WOSN next weekend. A lot of action to look forward to on WOSN, WTLW. One of those matchups that we'll have uh, next week as well, Grove taking on Allen East. And you kind of look at this one and think, you know, at the beginning of the season, there's a possibility both these teams meet undefeated. And that's exactly what we have. Grove and Allen East, both with two very convincing wins as they're on a collision course next week. Lawrence. Not really a surprise. And for a little bit tonight, there was a scare up at Bluffton. The Pirates got out to a quick lead. And then all of a sudden, the AE offense woke up and they came to work. I'm really glad to see Klum back playing quarterback, playing after taking a year off last year from having the ACL injury. And that's going to be a very dynamic game that we're going to have here next weekend on WOSN. Klum taking advantage of the downtime with yep. the all, all of the quarantine and stuff like that, getting healthy and getting ready to go. Well, other teams that were down and kind of on the way back, looking to be on the way back. Lima Senior picking up a win tonight, a good win against Oregon Clay. And Elida picking up the win over Ottawa Glendorf. I talked to someone at Lima Senior. They said, you know what, OG Elida, that's going to be a blowout. OG's going to take care of them. And that's why you play the games, ladies and gentlemen. Elida with a big win tonight. My dude Kyle Harmon snapped a 17-game losing streak. Big win for them, one and one. And now, how about Bath? Getting that big dub tonight over, over Kenton. You've got those two, rivalry week. Next week, we're gonna have that game as one of our broadcast games. Super excited for the Bulldogs and Coach Harmon. I've known him for many years. You know, I know he's glad to be home. He's doing a great job getting that program back under good footing and a huge win tonight for the Bulldogs. And then I wanna go down the road a little bit, Patrick. Go for it. I wanna go down to Logan County, Riverside, the Pirates, Bryce Hodge. First ever win in school history over Layman Catholic tonight. They roll 39 to seven. Kale Long in that game, 14 carries, 248, 284 yards, four scores, two interceptions, fumble recovery, probably even grabbed an instrument and played with the Layman Catholic band at halftime. He was that dominant. <laughs> We've seen that before from a variety of teams. It's always interesting to see the, the kid in the, in the pads and everything playing the instrument with the band. So. Uh, I'll take a look at the Mac real quick. Yeah. You know, teams uh, on the upswing, and you've got to think New Bremen, one of those teams, lost a tough one tonight to Marion Local, but you got to look at that Cardinal team and think, these guys are going to be able to play this year. They made that deep run last year. They made it to the regional finals. They lost to, to the Flyers there in week 13, a huge matchup in week two, and I am so impressed with what Chris Schmidt has and what they do down there at New Bremen. They balance things out. They've got a couple weeks. They, I know they're not looking ahead yet to Coldwater, here in two weeks, but still, in that MAC, it's just so dominant. You've got the Flyers still playing great ball at 2 and 0. You've got Versailles, who they play now at a 2 and 0 start. They've got them next week. You still got, you know, a lot of things going on, very positive in the MAC. There's still some great football to come, and we still got four weeks of MAC play and conference play in general going too. A lot to go on, yes. One of the interesting things, this Northwest Conference, and we'll end we'll Carroll come Northwest Conference tonight. So you've got. This whole idea of a tournament kind of in the middle of the season makes the Northwest Conference kind of a, I don't want to say strange, but kind of an interesting thing to look at as we move on to the season. A lot of playoff positioning already happening in the NWC, and that's going to be affected a lot by what we see next week as well. I look at it as this. It's so 2020. I love this <laughs> tournament. I love how they're going to do this. You know, you're going to have the number one in the West, play the number four in the East, the number one in the East, play the number four in the West. I mean, it's, it's a crapshoot right now. You got Spencerville, you got Grove, you still got AE out there, you know, at, at 2 and 0. And I mean, you cannot count anyone out in the Northwest Conference any given week. 
Aaron Matthews with us in there, our Get in the Zone sponsor tonight. Call MattsHeatingAndCooling.com for your heating and air conditioning needs. Aaron, thank you very much. Rest of that voice, you've been talking for about five hours straight now. I got a little bit of rest to me. I'll get there, brother, brother, brother. <laughs>